Hey there, Henry Victor, Henry Victor Ecom, where our mission is to help people to build wealth and to preserve it. We believe that you cannot outpace an exponential inflation with a linear income. So because of that, we teach people how to create multiple streams of income and then how to preserve or protect that wealth. So today's video is about planning. So hopefully uh, you had a chance to uh, review the Wealth Blueprint. In that video, you would have heard um, a discussion about uh, business structure. And, you know, if you're living in the United States, you might consider an LLC. You might consider an LLC with an S corporation. Uh, that doesn't apply to anyone who lives in Canada. And there may be other regulations depending on where in the world you're, uh, you live. So the best advice is to talk to uh, an advisor, somebody that can give you uh, the best results based on uh, your, your area. Because uh, the structure you use will determine how much you can protect or preserve for yourself instead of just giving it away in the form of taxes or other fees. But for the most part, um, many people just decide to start a business as a sole proprietor. And that can be done anywhere in the world. So uh, we're going we're gonna to start with that. And then later on, if uh, you find that uh, you want to change your structure, uh, you can do so. Uh, but when we're planning, one of the first things uh, you have to think about is why you are in the business. Why are you doing what you're doing? So if, if you think about that, uh, it will determine where you're going to go and uh, how hard you're going to work. And what, really, it, it's, it's going to create the velocity uh, or the trajectory that your business will take. So, um, if I step back just a minute, uh, if you've ever watched a rocket being launched into outer space, uh, you will notice the big fuel tanks that are attached, you know, to the space shuttle, and most of the rocket is basically one big fuel tank. Do you realize that it uses about 90% of its entire fuel store to travel a few miles. And the rest of it will, will travel the, um, the rest of the thousands and even hundreds of thousands of miles. So when you're thinking of uh, your planning for business, you have to understand that when you're starting out, there is going to be an initial force that you have to overcome. So you're going to be spending more time and maybe even more money to get your business off the ground than when you're established and in flight. So let's go back and plan now. You have to have a goal. So what is your why? And don't tell me it's just money. Money is, is going to be the measuring stick to see if, uh, if you are achieving your goal. So, but what is your goal? What is it that you really want? What is it in life that you want this business to provide for you that you cannot get with what you're doing now? Let's be honest. If you, had, if you were where you are right now and you're happy there, then why would you want to do anything else? So... What is it that you really want? Write it down. That is your why. And that's important to your plan. Then, think about how much money it's going to take for you to fulfill that why. So, uh, if it's $10,000 a month that will get you whatever that goal is, or $20,000 or $100,000, then write that down. That's going to be a target. The next thing we want to record is when do you want to see that happen for you? So you have to set a timeline. 
that will help create a little bit of energy when you're trying to get this business going. So now we have a timeline, a target, and our reason why we're in business. Now, what do we do with that information? Well, in business, you want to develop what we call key performance indicators. So if you think about it, uh, how do you know that your business is doing, uh, achieving what it's supposed to? So you create these, these tiny indicators that you could review to, to see where you stand and if you're on track or if you're off track, and then you can adjust. So when we have a plan that's written down, uh, we, we now have something to provide guidance of where we want to be. Now, let's take a step back and add to our plan things that we need to do to achieve that goal. So how much time are you going to spend to build your business? Are you going to you know, spend an hour a day, two hours? Are you going to spend an hour a week? It's your business, and how fast you want to get to where you, you want to be is dependent on how much time. And remember that rocket. You might have to spend more time up front to get it off the ground than you will later. So you have to plan that into your, your business. Now, how much money are you going to be spending to achieve that goal? So you have to have a budget. And that marketing, it can be a marketing budget. It's going to be for your tools and for the things that you need to be in business. So how do you, you know, what is the amount that you're going to invest into your business? Now, now that we have these, these targets and these goals, at the beginning of every day, you look at your plan. You review it. You look at your goal. You look at if you have any appointments, what, you're, what, what you have to accomplish that day. And at the end of the day, you're going to want to review how you did. So, for example, if, uh, if you documented that you wanted to spend three hours learning something about the business... At the end of the day, did you accomplish that? If you did or didn't, write it down. Keep a diary. And um, just so you know, when you document things like this in your business, it will protect you in the future in the event of any tax audits. You will have proof of what you did on a daily basis or weekly basis. So that's why, you know, invest in a, in a journal, invest in, you know, I, I use uh, uh, the QuickBooks mobile app because I can scan receipts and I can make notes and it, it's, it makes my life easier. So uh, you can do the same or you can do it on a piece of paper. Uh, it doesn't matter, but keep records. So in the end, at the end of the day, when you've looked at your, your business and you've considered um, how you did, I want you to ask yourself this question. Would I hire me? Would I keep me on as an employee based on how I perform? It's something to, th to think about, isn't it? So uh, that's how we plan in our plan our business uh, so again um, I just I don't think I made this uh, clear enough um, you need to document also this other this other thing um, any appointments you have uh, schedules uh, things like that put them down and then review how you did on those did you meet your appointments how did they re how did how did they what was the outcome if you talk to people? Whatever it is, uh, have that review at the end of the day and then plan for your next day. So again, this is Henry Victor. Uh, I'm helping you on your journey to success and uh, I wish you a great day.